everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're gonna be diving into the new palette that was just launched from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is called the Rose Metals Palette. And this palette I was very excited about because I personally love the Nauvoo palette. It's one of my new favorites. When I saw this launched, I could not wait to get my hands on it. This palette retails for $55 and it has a lot of different pigments in this palette. It has four matte shades, but this matte shade up here has a tiny bit, like the smallest amount of sparkle, just the smallest amount, but it does provide a nice shine to the crease, so I appreciate that. It's not too overwhelming. And you have like these three shades right here. So this one, this one, and this one. They are your traditional shimmer shadows, very light, not too explosive on the eye, doesn't have a lot of sparkle or a lot of glitter and stuff like that in the actual shimmer. It's just a traditional soft shimmer shade. Then you also have some foiled shades. This one, this one, this one, this is like a really beautiful metallic. So it has a lot of variations in this palette and I really, really appreciate that. It has a lot going on. Now the packaging, in the promo images, for some reason I was thinking this packaging, I didn't really look that close, like I didn't zoom in on it, but I was thinking this was gonna be rhinestone or it was gonna be textured in a way, but this is made to look like leather and I'm here for it. Love the packaging. I'm really happy that ABH is kind of stepping outside of that velvet packaging box they were in for so long, and they're kind of giving us something different, something fresh, and I really, really like the new packaging. So in this video, I'm gonna be sharing three eyeshadow looks using the palette. Then, once we get through all the tutorials, I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the swatches and comparisons, and I am gonna compare this palette to a bunch of other palettes in my collection, so you can get an idea of this color story and if it's something you really need in your collection. In my swatches, I like to share the images with and without a flash. The flash provides a nice insight to the undertones of shades. Once we get through the swatches, then I will go ahead and jump into my final thoughts. So without further ado, let's jump into the tutorials. Let's go ahead and jump into look number one, and I really can't hold this palette up very good. This shade is not, it's not pressed down into it, so it's like, I'm afraid it's just gonna start coming, you know what I mean? But let's do some close-ups on the palette. The packaging is actually better in person than I thought it was gonna be on the online. It's got that leather pattern. I'm gonna grab my blending brush, and I'm gonna go into the shade Ashes. It's a gray color, and grays are not my favorite for me and my complexion. I don't know, I just have a hard time using gray mattes, but let's see how this one works and how we can kind of play around with that. I'm just using it kind of as the base. Okay, so even though that shade is kind of a gray base, it's a pretty gray. It has a, the tiniest amount of like purple in it, so it's a nice gray. It's complementary. It's not like really ashy. It has a really nice undertone, so it is a good gray. I'm gonna go directly into the shade Nova. It's a really pretty olive green, and I'm using my Smith 253 brush, and I'm gonna place it right here on in the inner corner and just kind of bring it out spreading it kind of as far as I can. It's a pretty green, but it's kind of grungy. That's what it reminds me of. I'm gonna take a stiff brush and kind of blend out this line. I'm gonna go into the shade Dune. I just cannot pick up this palette. So I'm gonna go into the shade Dune, which is that really pretty kind of maroon color. And I'm gonna sweep that into the crease. Except for I'm gonna bring Nova all the way out. So then I'm gonna take a small brush and I'm gonna go into Dune. And I'm gonna sweep that here on the outer corner. Now I'm gonna clean my lower 
lash line and kind of clean up this outer corner, kind of creating that shape. And I did get some fallout from that olive green shimmer, so just FYI. Before I move on to the lower lash line, I'm gonna take my brush and go into the shade Heavenly, which is a really pretty kind of frosty green color. And I'm gonna place that right there on the center. And I'm gonna wipe the brush off. And then I'm just gonna kind of blend it into the eyeshadows. Now I'm gonna go on to the lower lash line and I'm gonna first go into Ashes. That shade has a lot of pigment. Now I'm gonna go into Sunrose and kind of bring some color to that gray. And then I'm gonna take my flat tipped brush and I'm gonna go into Dune and I'm gonna smoke that into the outer corner on the lower and the upper, just to kind of give a little bit of that dimension. So this is the final look. I'm not gonna put any mascara and stuff on because I'm gonna be wiping both of these eyeshadow looks because I'm gonna be doing three. I don't wanna put a lot of eye makeup on. This is a beautiful eyeshadow look. It's really soft and easy to create, but it's also kind of gives you that grungy, little bit on that date night type, like nighttime eyeshadow look. It's really pretty. I loved adding a little bit of that heavenly shade. It really gave it that pop that it needed. Gorgeous. So that's it for look number one. Let's go ahead and jump into look number two. All right, for look number two, I'm gonna jump into Sunrose, which is that really pretty warm color and I'm gonna sweep that all over the crease now I'm gonna go directly into dune and I'm gonna bring that right at the base of the brow bone like that and then I wipe the brush off and now I'm just gonna kind of blend it into that shade I'm also going to bring Sunrose here on the inner corner and also the outer corner I'm gonna dip my brush into Rose Fire which is the one that's really crumbly in my palette and it's very, very pigmented. A little bit goes the longest way with this shade. Now I'm gonna go back to that small brush and I'm gonna go into Dune. And I'm gonna use Dune to kind of blend these edges of the shimmer shadow. I went ahead and threw on some concealer. Let's jump on to the lower lash line and then I'll kind of finesse the upper so I'm gonna first go into Sunrose and I'm gonna bring that right along there and kind of buff that in now I'm gonna go into Dune I'm gonna bring that on the outer corner as well I'm gonna put on a little bit of Dune like I'm gonna kind of finesse this outer corner but that shade is so pigmented the Dune shade so just be super careful with it because it is very pigmented and it really likes to grab. But it's not hard to blend. Like it blends, it just likes to grab. So just be super careful with that. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that here. This eyeshadow look is very warm, kind of fall, and I really like it so far. So that's it for look number two. Let's go ahead and jump into look number three. Look number three, I'm gonna dive right into Ashes. It is a pretty shade, I'm not gonna lie. It's prettier than I thought it was gonna be. So I'm gonna kinda use that as the base again, just kind of blending that into the crease. 
Again, be super careful with these shades, if especially if you have a light complexion because they're pigmented, they got some pigment. Now I'm gonna take a smaller blending brush and I'm gonna go into Sunrose and I'm gonna keep that right at that base just to add a little bit of color to the crease. Now I'm gonna directly go into Rose Quartz. I'm super excited to see what the shade looks like because it's a very soft, soft shimmer. Like, it doesn't have a lot to it. And it's really pretty because it's super soft. So it's not over the top when it comes to a lot of sparkle. And I like that. I like that they included a shade like this in this palette. It's really pretty. And that was the shade I was most excited to use. I'll also say this shade right here, Nocturne, it is the exact same way. I'm gonna lightly dip my brush into Element and I'm going to put that right here. Oh! That shade is so pretty in the crease, you guys. So pretty. I love it. Okay, I wanna dip my brush lightly into Heavenly, like the lightest amount, just to add a little bit of something right as those two shades meet. But I don't wanna add a lot, because I really like those two shades like that, so pretty. So I'm just kinda like tapping it. So now I'm gonna go in two ashes first. And then I'm gonna go into Sunrose. Kinda, those shades are so pretty together. I tell you what, shimmer shade in the crease is beautiful. It really is. It's just a gorgeous, gorgeous shade and I'm so here for it. I'm gonna take my flat tip brush and go into Noble and I'm gonna smoke that into this outer corner. And I'm also going to bring that up on the upper lash line like right there. That shade has a lot of pigment and it's really pretty to smoke that lower lash line out. Okay, so I'm back. This is the final look for look number three, and I think this eyeshadow look turned out really, really beautiful. I always struggle doing the other side and trying to make it work and trying to make it match, but it is what it is, right? I wanna mention what's on my lips. I used my Tom Ford lip liner, lip sculptor in the shade 04 Extort. I bought these last year on sale. I think, I don't even know. I can't remember where I bought them, but I got them for like 40% off and I love them. Then I just went ahead and grabbed my gloss from Christian Audette in the shade Ray, which is my favorite. So that's it for look number three. Let's go ahead and jump into the swatches. And I'm gonna swatch this palette next to other palettes that might be similar. And I will share those images with and without a flash. You guys can really see the undertones under a flash. And then once we get through the swatches, I will get into my final thoughts. So I will see you guys then. Okay, so I am back. I do hope that those swatches and comparisons were helpful. I didn't have a lot to compare this palette to. I went through so many of my palettes. I couldn't find those tones in my palettes. I was surprised by that. So, and that's a good thing, right? Because all of the palettes that we've had, it's, it's a good thing to not have a lot of repeats. So, this palette, though it looks like a normal everyday palette with normal tones, I don't really have those tones combined. However, I am excited to compare it to the new Huda Beauty palette because that palette kind of has some of these tones in it. So 
I will definitely do some comparisons there, but as far as what I have in my collection right now, I just didn't have anything, and that is not a bad thing, especially for those of us who are swimming in palettes, right? First off, I really like this palette. I do, even though a few of the shades are kind of crumbly, which is kind of what happened in the Naboo palette, but this is beautiful. This is very dark and kind of sultry, kind of gringy. It's, it's a gorgeous palette with a lot of depth. You really like the Nabu, but you didn't think that the tones were dark enough for you. This palette comes to play and it is gorgeous. So here's the thing. These two palettes I feel like will, will work and pair really, really well together just because all of the tones are kind of the same. It all kind of has the same color story, if you will, but different tones and different undertones. And this palette has much more depth. This palette is a little bit more lighter, kind of everyday. But overall, this palette is gorgeous. And if you have a darker complexion, I think you're gonna love this. I really do. I think this is gonna be somewhat similar to the Natasha Denona My Dream palette, where it builds so much depth that it just looks stunning on a darker, deeper complexion. There were some similarities with these palettes though. So I was able to find some similar shades, not all and not exact, but they were similar. The only thing that the Natasha Denona palette is missing as far as shades go are these olive tones that this rose metal palette has. The My Dream palette doesn't really have any olives. So that's kind of the difference in color story. But overall, this is a really pretty palette. I'm not gonna say it's my favorite because I personally still love the Nauvoo. Like I'm still loving that palette, but I'm happy to have it in my collection. My only complaint is that I wish I would have used this shade because it's gorgeous. It's so beautiful, you guys, and I really regret not using it, but I think I'm gonna use it again. Look at this haze, it's so gorgeous. And I'm all about an olive green, I love this. This is so pretty. As far as the overall quality of it, it's typical ABH. Number one, you're gonna get fallout. Number two, it makes a mess. So just know that it's the it's similar to most ABH palettes. I kind of feel like with all of the holiday palettes coming out, I think this is a nice palette, but for me, I would maybe wait for a sale to pick this up. That's just my personal opinion. Overall, it is a nice palette. It does have great pigmentation and you can build a lot of beautiful depth eyeshadow looks using it. So if that's your thing, you will love this palette. If you're someone that likes more lighter kind of every day, then the Nauvoo is your palette. It, that's kind of where it is. I do like that they launched this palette though, because not only does it go well with the Nauvoo, but it gives those who wanted the Nauvoo palette, but didn't feel it had enough depth for them, the, the depth. This palette gives depth. So I like that they were launched real close together. And I think both palettes fit a particular need. So that's it for my review. Sound off down below. How many of you guys are planning on picking this up? Are you thinking about picking it up and gonna wait for a sell? I'm so curious. Sound off down below. Let's just chat about it. Thank you so much for hanging out with me in today's video. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day and I will see you guys all in my next video. Love you. Bye.